One of the best things about a hall closet is that it can be organized to suit a multitude of purposes depending on its location. A few changes can take it from this to this. Hello my friends, welcome to another organization project and tips to make your spring cleaning successful. To keep from having to organize this coat closet again, I really needed to think what I want my closet to be when it grew up. Really, all jokes aside, this is the time to research and get together all of those inspirational photos and pins and think about how you want the closet to function, how you want it to look, and how you can achieve it within your budget. So once you gather your thoughts and figure out what you want, how do you put it together? Well, here is how I put all that research and thought into one plan. But first, you know my rule before you start a project, you should start with a clean slate. Everything must go. Get rid of items you don't need or want by donating it, or if you want to keep it, see if you can store it elsewhere. All of my projects, big or small, start from my project binder. I have a list of all the projects I want to complete this year. Here is the coat closet project. Each project has an inspirational photo and a project list. The inspirational photo is a collection of ideas I've seen in a magazine, online, or other sources that I like to incorporate in my home. The project list is how I will achieve this idea. There is a budget limit, a task list, cost of materials, and a design board with measurements and a sketch of my idea. Now that we have a plan, let's go shopping. As you can see, my projects are all nicely bundled inside a clear plastic envelope. This make it portable and I can take everything I need easily. It's also a good idea to bring along any decorating pieces that would be part of your decor for color and design references, like a pillow or a fabric sample. There were four things I wanted to accomplish on this project. Functionality for my family, functionality for my guests, and everything having a place and it must be appealing. So let's take a look. Now you might think that pictures in a closet might be a little strange, but I added the pictures on the top shelf. I wanted the closet to also serve as a nook. So I didn't want it to be overstuffed with bins and baskets, but instead be inviting and pretty. All I do is slide the pocket door back and it can be available for use. I know you guys can relate to this, but every time I have guests, they hand me their coat, their umbrella, their purse, and whatever else they have in their hands. The coat is easy, but the rest of it, I needed somehow to store it. These built-in shelves is just for that reason. The coat closet also stored those miscellaneous items that you just don't know where to store it. Well, I store it here in the closet, like photo albums, umbrellas, items that I'm donating or giving away. My hubby is so helpful and talented. He built these shelves for me. The seating is actually a two cube shelf turned on its side. It also has storage for each of us to store seasonal items like gloves, hats, scarves. So you're probably wondering, where are the coats? 
<laughs> Once I decluttered everything and stored items elsewhere, I had plenty of room for coats. I'm left with the items that I actually need in here. All the coats are stored here. When we have guests, there is plenty of room. All I do is hang the guest coats here in the center and grab one of the hangers that I need below. The decorations, I wanted to keep it simple, but pretty because it is a small coat closet. The seating is actually a two cube shelf unit turned on its side. I added a cushion and a pillow. There is some wall art to welcome my guests and there are photos that I have on the top shelf. Here's a tip. I always add scent cotton balls in my closet. As you remember, I did it in my linen closet. Just sprinkle essence oil on a cotton ball and place it inside a linen bag inside the closet. This keeps the closet nice and fresh and also protects it from moths. So now let's do an overview of everything I've done. Thank you for joining me today and hopefully I've given you some ideas and tips for your coat closet makeover. See you on the next video. Smooches! Oh,